Postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat and his black and white cat. Early in the morning, just as day is dawning, he picks up all the post bags in his van. Postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat and his black and white cat. All the birds are singing and the day is just beginning. Pat feels he's a really happy man. Everybody knows his bright red van. All his friends will smile as he waves to greet them. Maybe you can never be sure there'll be knock, ring, letters through your door. Postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat and his black and white cat. All the birds are singing and the day is just beginning. Pat feels he's a really happy man. Pat feels he's a really happy man. Pat feels he's a really happy man. It was a bright spring morning in Greendale, and Postman Pat had stopped at the post office to collect the mail. Off we go, Jess. Soon he was on his way. When he arrived at Greendale Farm, young Tom Pottage was crying. What's all this? said Pat. Tears on a Tuesday? That won't do. Let's see if there's a sweet in my pocket. There was, as there always is. There, that's better, said Pat, as he gave Tom a shiny toffee, and Tom tried to smile again. It's this reading book, said Mrs. Pottage. He's off school with a cold, and Katie's brought his reading book home. But he can't seem to learn his letters at all. I had an ABC when I was little, said Pat. That helped. I'll tell you what, young Tom. We'll make an ABC. How can we do that, Pat? said Tom, smiling. I'll get a notebook at the post office, and we'll put a new letter in each day. You'll soon learn then. Oh, yes, said Tom. And you can do the pictures, said Pat. Bye. I like drawing, said Tom. The next day, Pat brought a red notebook. He also brought a small tin. Now, Tom, he said, have a look in here. He opened the tin. A tiny creature ran about in it. A little ant, said Tom. On the first page of the notebook, Pat wrote, A is for ant.
When Katie came home, she brought her book of sums. She wrote in Tom's new book, A is for Ad. Mother looked in the larder. She put some fruit on the table. She wrote, A is for apple and apricot. The next day, Pat looked at all the drawings in the book. What about B? said Pat. Just then, Miss Hubbard arrived on her bike. B is for bike, shouted Tom. So Pat wrote, B is for Miss Hubbard's bike. Miss Hubbard drew her bike for Tom. Tom was helping to clear the breakfast things. B is for butter, he said. His mother drew the butter in its dish and wrote, B is the yellow butter in the dish. I'd better be buzzing along. At tea time, Katie drew another picture and wrote a big bad bee. The next day, Tom had gone back to school. Pat made a drawing on the next page and wrote, C is for my cat, Jess. With his curly tail. Likes cream and cake. day someone added a new page to Tom's book. When Tom came home from school, the first thing he did was to look at the new page in Postman Pat's ABC. Alf Thompson called. He drew his dog and wrote, D is my dreamy dog.
Later, Katie drew a dish for the dog's drink. Then Dad came in and drew the donkey in the top field. Donkey. The next day, Tom had an egg for his breakfast. Egg. On Saturday, Tom saw a frog in the pond. Tom drew it when they went home. Frog. Sam Waldron came with his mobile shop. Mrs. Pottage bought fish fingers, Plan. and some kitchen foil. Tom asked Peter Fogg for something beginning with G. He looked around the yard and drew a goose. I don't like the way it hisses at me, said Katie. And I don't like Dad's gun. Gun. It makes such a bang. On Sunday, they all went to church. They saw Granny Dryden. She dropped her glove. She gave Tom a gumdrop when he picked up her glove. At Sunday school, Katie drew Miss Hubbard's hat. Tom drew a hen that had walked into the churchyard. On Monday, Katie and Tom had ice cream for tea.
hat had a puncture and had to jack up his van. So he drew his jack in the book. Jack. On Tuesday, there was jam and jelly for tea. And Peter Fogg said, just the job. Wednesday, they had kippers for tea. Good morning. I've just boiled the kettle, said Mrs. Pottage, when Pat called next morning. So Pat stayed for a cup of tea. He drew the kettle in Tom's book. Kettle. Tom's getting on really well with his letters now, said Mrs. Pottage. He knows all the words in his ABC so far. On Friday, Katie said she had seen a lark on the way to school. So she drew that. Lark. One of Mrs. Thompson's hens stole Pat's keys, and he had to climb a tree with her ladder to get them back. He drew the ladder. It was so high, said Pat. I was really scared. On Saturday, Mrs. Pottage bought a big melon at the market. Katie and Tom played in the barn. Katie saw a mouse. Tom drew it in his ABC. I once had a pet mouse, said Pat, <laughs> just like the one in your picture. Sam Waldron called again with his mobile shop. And Tom bought some nutty nougat with his pocket money and gave a piece to Katie.
On Sunday, it was time for church again. Miss Hubbard played the organ. And the Reverend Timms gave each child an orange. Katie and Tom had pie and peas and potatoes and pancakes for their dinner. Then played cards. Tom drew the queen. It rained on Monday. At playtime, all the children saw a beautiful rainbow in the sky. Tom had taken his ABC to school to show his teacher so he painted the rainbow in it, using all the paints in the box. They had sausages and sweet corn for school dinner. Lucy Selby drew them for Tom in his ABC. On Tuesday, Pat's van was stuck in the mud. Peter Fogg brought the tractor to tow Pat out. Tea for tractor, said Tom. And tea for Tom, said Pat. Then drew both in the ABC and wrote Tom and the tractor towing Pat's van. Off we go, Jess. On Wednesday, the wind blew the Reverend Tim's umbrella inside out. Pat helped him to put it right again and drew it in Tom's book. Umbrella. There was a bring and buy sale on Thursday in the village hall. Granny Dryden bought a vase and drew it for Tom. Vase. It's just the thing for my violets, she said. And it looks very valuable.
Ted Glenn bought a watch. It has a wobbly winder, he said. I'll soon mend that. Can you draw it, said Pat. Willingly, said Ted. So he did, and wrote underneath, a watch with a wobbly winder. On Friday, Tom played music on a xylophone at school. I can play it or draw it, said Tom, but I can't spell it. So his teacher helped him. Xylophone. On Saturday, they all went to the seaside for a treat. They went to see the lions and the tigers in the zoo. Why is for yellow on the giraffe's neck, said Katie. Yellow. Now I know how to end my ABC, said Tom, looking at the notices when they went in. And I can spell it myself. Zoo. Cheerio. Postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat and his black and white cat. Early in the morning, just as day is dawning, he picks up all the post bags in his van. Postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat and his black and white cat. All the birds are singing and the day is just beginning. Pat feels he's a really happy man. Pat feels he's a really happy man. Postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat and his black and white cat. Early in the morning, just as day is dawning, he picks up all the post bags in his van. Postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat and his black and white cat. All the birds are singing and the day is just beginning. Pat feels he's a really happy man. Everybody knows his bright red van. All his friends will smile as he waves to greet them. Maybe you can never be sure they'll be knock. Bring letters through your door. <laughs> postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat and his black and white cat. All the birds are singing and the day is just beginning. Pat feels he's a really happy man. Pat feels he's a really happy man. Pat feels he's a really happy man. It was a bright new day and Postman Pat was calling at Greendale Farm.
Good morning. I can't, I can't, was the first thing he heard. It was young Tom's voice, and it sounded rather cross. What's all this? said Pat. What is it that Tom can't do? Oh, hello, Pat, said Mrs. Pottage. It's this counting business. We've managed our ABC, now it's our one to ten that's the bother. Tom's teacher says he must know all his numbers up to ten before Easter. Quite right, too, I say. How will he ever be a farmer if he can't count? Hmm, I see what you mean, said Pat. I'd be sunk if I couldn't count. How would I ever find the house numbers down in the village? Now, let's see. How can we help young Tom? I know, I know, said Katie. We can make another book. We'll make the pictures, and you can put the words in for us, Pat. What a good idea, said Pat. I'll bring a new book on Monday. Cheerio! thing on Monday morning. He wrote in big words on the cover with his felt pen, one to ten with postman Pat. At the top of the first page, Pat wrote one. Then he drew one letter next to it and wrote, postman Pat has one beautiful cat, Jess, One lovely long nose. One postman's hat, which he once dropped down Peter Fogg's well. One. This is this, and that is that. It's number one with Postman Pat. This is this and that is that. It's number one with Postman Pat. He left a space after each sentence and Katie and Tom drew the pictures. Hurrah, said Tom. Well, I must be on my way, said Pat. He gave Katie and Tom a sweet each before he went. Cheerio! On Tuesday, Pat called again and wrote in the blue notebook, two. He drew two letters and wrote, Postman Pat has two sharp eyes for reading addresses. Two big feet <laughs> that once fell over Jess. Two friends called Katie and Tom. Two. This is this and that is that. It's one, two with Postman Pat.
two. This is this and that is that. It's one, two with postman Pat. Wednesday was a little harder. It was time for three. Now, what did I see yesterday, said Pat. I know. I saw three naughty hens who tried to steal my sandwiches. Three of Alf's sheep climbing over the wall. Three men going up a hill. Three. This is this, and that is that. It's one, two, three with Postman Pat. is this and that is that it's one two three with postman pat Thursday it was raining. So Pat wrote four. Four umbrellas in the post office. Four wet wheels on Pat's van. Four parcels for Pat to deliver. Four. This is this and that is that. It's one, two, three, four, and postman Pat. Four. This is this and that is that. It's one, two, three, four, and postman Pat. It was sunny again on Friday. Pat wrote in the book five. Now, what goes in five, said Pat. I know. Five fingers on Tom's hand if you count the thumb. Five ducks swimming on the pond. Five 
five buttons on Katie's dress. Five. This is this, and that is that. It's one, two, three, four, five, with Postman Pat. Five. One. Two. Three. Four. This is this and that is that. It's one, two, three, four, five. With Postman Pat. We're halfway to ten, said Mrs. Pottage. Hurrah, said Tom. Cheerio, said Pat. Good morning. On Saturday, Greendale Football Club was playing Kendall. I hope our side wins, said Tom. So Pat wrote in the blue notebook, six. Six goals for Greendale. Six buses for supporters all lined up at the ground. Six silver cups in the clubhouse. Six. This is this, and that is that. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, with Postman Pat. Six. One. Two. Three. Five. This is this and that is that. It's one, two, three, four, five, six with Postman Pat. Six cheers for Greendale, said Tom. And another six for Tom for learning his numbers, said Pat. Off we go, Jess. The next day was Sunday. They saw Pat in church. Tom had brought his numbers book with him to show the Reverend Timms. After the service, Pat said, perhaps the Reverend would like to put something in Tom's book today. <laughs> Lord love us. Um, what shall I put? He gazed round the church, then wrote, 
seven. Seven candles in the church. Seven bells in the tower. Seven bats in the belfry. Seven. We'll say a prayer and sing some hymns. Then it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven with the Reverend Tim. Seven. One. Two. Three. And sing some hymns, then it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, with the Reverend Tims. A new week came round with Monday morning. And so did Postman Pat with a new load of letters. We've nearly finished this book, said Pat. And wrote eight. Eight legs on two cows. Eight cakes in the cake tin. Eight clocks in Granny Dryden's kitchen. Eight. This is this, and that is that. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, with Postman Pat. Eight. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. This is this and that is that. It's one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight with Postman Pat. There are seven cakes now, said Katie, <laughs> because I've eaten one.
Pat was late on Tuesday, but he saw Tom at school. His teacher was ever so pleased with him. Come along, Jess. Good morning. Do you know Pat? He said. Tom knows all his numbers up to eight now. He's brought his numbers book to show me, and I think it's great. We mustn't miss today's number, said Pat. May I use your board? Certainly, said the teacher. So Pat wrote on the board, nine. Nine children in the school. Nine pens on the teacher's desk. Nine pictures on the wall. Nine. This is this, and that is that. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, with Postman Pat. Nine. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. This is this and that is that. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. With Postman Pat. Tom copied all this into his book and made pictures to go with it. The other children copied it in their news books. It was very windy on Wednesday. Pat was almost blown away. He put in the book 10. Ten trees blown down today. Ten bottles of homemade wine in Miss Hubbard's pantry. Ten saws in Ted Glenn's workshop. Ten. This is this, and that is that. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, with Postman Pat. Ten. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. 
six. Seven. Eight. Nine. This is this and that is that. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten with Postman Pat. There. It's finished, said Pat. Aren't there any more numbers? asked Tom. Well, there are, said Pat, but <laughs> that'll be enough to be going on with. Good, said Tom. I like numbers now. Thanks for helping, said Mrs. Pottage. You're welcome. Hey, I'd, I'd better be on my way now. Cheerio, then. <laughs> Postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat and his black and white cat. Early in the morning, just as day is dawning, he picks up all the post bags in his van. Postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat and his black and white cat. All the birds are singing and the day is just beginning. Pat feels he's a really happy man. Pat feels he's a really happy man. Tempo Preschool Videos are the only videos recommended and approved by the Preschool Learning Alliance. Have fun learning with all your favorite cartoon friends. Sing along to all your favorite nursery rhymes. Or just sit back, relax, and enjoy the simple, gentle stories chosen specifically for the under fives. Tempo Preschool Video, the first choice for younger children. The Fun Song Factory is just one of the many great videos from Tempo Preschool. The only videos recommended by the Preschool Learning Alliance. Yeah, let's go, man.